are the quintessential English garden flower. Now you don't have to know much about gardening or plants to recognise a rose flower. As you'll see from the amazing aerial footage, there are literally thousands of roses to choose from. With over 150 species and thousands of hybrid, you'll be rest assured to find one that you'll really like. Gardeners have so many planting choices when it comes to roses. Some people like to plant up a whole border of roses to create a rose garden, whilst others prefer to dot roses throughout their borders. There are lots of climbing roses too. Now this one here is Star Performer, which bears satin pink blooms on glossy dark green foliage. And it has a really neat compact habit. Now, climbing roses are great for scrambling up walls or fences, up pergolas, or even to cover an untidy shed. Rose blooms come in all different sizes. There are the big, brightly coloured, flamboyant roses. And then there are the dainty tea roses with their delicate English rose scent. Roses can also be used for cut flowers. Now this here is the Florist Timeless Collection and it has a superb fragrance. Its flower stems have been bred specifically for the suitability of cut flowers. Now here I've got Timeless Purple and behind me here I've got Timeless Cream. Now these two are just two in the collection. They've been chosen and selected to complement each other perfectly. Now there's something really special I want to share with you today and that's our new rose to the range, Sweet Honey, which actually won Rose of the Year 2020. Now this petite honey coloured rose has outstanding disease resistance and its blooms are high scented which form in clusters and which will repeat well throughout the season. So whether you decide on which roses to plant in your garden because of their scent, their colour, their type or size you'll be rewarded with these beautiful flowers for years and years. <laughs>